Bouncing his way in twinkle-toed fashion towards the boxing ring is the reigning, defending, three-time world champion. Looking to emulate what this man has accomplished, Osbani Vicha has already been crowned as a world championship gold medalist. La Cruz wants to make it four in a row. Dating back to Baku 2011, nobody has been able to get the better of this man in world championship competition. Joe Ward knows all about the size of the task that lies ahead. He comes to the ring as the reigning world championship silver medalist. Because in their second meeting two years ago at the world championship final in Doha, it was La Cruz who came out on top to claim a hat-trick of consecutive world championship goals. The tournament before that, La Cruz and Ward met at the semi-final stage of the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division. And again, it was La Cruz who emerged victorious. But Joe Ward successfully retained his European title earlier this summer to make it three continental golds in all. Julio La Cruz with another victory over the man from Ecuador. But that was a rugged, a rugged contest. And you see that injury he picked up over his right eye. And one wonders how much will that be playing on his mind? And will Joe Ward be able to target that injury with his own sharp shooting punches out of that southpaw stance? Hard-fought win over Bektomir Melikuziev, but his punch picking was on point in that semi-final. Serhai Astanao of Belarus giving the final instructions to both boxers. So we're underway then in the 81 kilogram gold medal bout between two boxers who know one another very well indeed and immediately sent to the canvas after a tangle of legs and a flurry of punches is the reigning three-time world champion. No knockdown, says referee Asenau from Belarus, but immediately Joe Ward testing the strength of his opponent, leaning on him at close range. Well, that's a really positive start from Ward, isn't it, on that front foot and he's going for it. And Ward usually sits back, doesn't he, and waits, but here he knows that he's in uh, against a master tactician in La Cruz who likes to slow the, the pace down. So what Ward's doing, he's on that front foot. He's going to probably try and go through the, the gears and, and quicken the tempo up, because if La Cruz is allowed to settle down into his rhythm, then he's an absolute nightmare. So Ward, a good positive start from the Irishman. Hard left, right to the body. The right hand was a particularly effective shot from La Cruz. And as Rich has alluded to, if you allow him to settle into a rhythm, well, he is very difficult to beat indeed. Look at the manner in which he's able to lean back. Flexible, wasted fighter. Tagged by a body shot there from Ward. I think it's when he goes for those walks, though, Ron, on the outside. You know, he, he wants the gap between himself and his opponent, La Cruz. That's when Ward has got to jump on him and really quicken the tempo up. You see, La Cruz, he hits and then he, he moves backwards, if anything, because he wants to create a gap. And he wants to create time and space. And that's what you've got to deny him. And that's why Ward is on that front foot. And it's unlike Ward, because Ward's normally a back foot counter-punching boxer. But he knows he's got to change his tactics for this one. Credit to him for trying something different in pursuit of World Championship gold. Good one-two to the body once again from La Cruz, who again is so familiar with every inch of the ring canvas, knows where the ropes are, knows where the turnbuckles are, and just floats his way around the ring in confident fashion. Difficult to pin down, but Ward remaining steadfastly to his task. Left hand to the body wasn't too far away from Ward as he tries to work his way inside behind that southpaw jab. I think it's a classic case as well, Ron, that you've got to double up your attacks against La Cruz. Probably a single attack isn't enough. He, he manages, as you said, he does the layback and he just finds the space, then he's on the outside again. You've got to keep it going and sustain it. Counter right hand is an effective shot from La Cruz. Ward ranked number three in the world, takes a hard right hand just above the belt line. And it's a flat-footed posture adopted at centre ring by La Cruz. Ward fainting with the feet, 
missing with his attempted right hand. The left that preceded it wasn't too far away. Well, a positive start from Ward, but La Cruz settled into his rhythm. As you see him, watched by two men who have already claimed world championship gold today, Johannes Aguilagos and Josbani Vitra in the crowd. Well, it was a positive start from Ward. It's a great start from the man in blue. But La Cruz got back into it as the round went on, started to dictate things a little bit better. Catches Ward there with a lovely straight right hand, and then he's back on that back foot he hits and then he seems to move backwards create space and time and like I say you have to try and deny him that so as the rain went on he got better and better did the cruise ward there just misses with that one So we're into the second round of the 81 kilogram light heavyweight final here at Hamburg 2017. This a rematch of the final from Doha two years ago. The boxer on the front foot, Joe Ward, came away with silver on that occasion. This is the third meeting between these two familiar rivals. All of them have happened on the world championship stage as Ward gets through with a good right hand. And Ward looking for his first victory. But he took a good left jab there before the fighters fell into a clinch. And that's the difficult job for Ward there, you see, Ron, on the inside, he's got to try and find the space, but it's very difficult indeed. Le Cruz knows that his strengths at mid and long range, and that's where he wants to box when they do come in at close quarters. He'll hold and just bring his opponent into his body, wait for the referee to separate them, and then he goes back on his bike again. Targeting that right hand effectively. In this second round is La Cruz sitting square on the ropes, trying to goad Ward and tempting in, tempt him into coming forward and he's enjoying his work now as the reigning champion looking for his fourth consecutive title good southpaw left from Ward tags La Cruz still boxing with his hands down by his knees and scores with a snaking right hand between the defences of the man from Ireland well he's full of confidence is, is La Cruz but he always is but Ward's having a good go here and he actually caught La Cruz uh, with a good shot so he's just got to watch what he's doing the Cuban Ward we know, you know, he's a quality performer himself and you just got to concentrate and, and try and put the punches together and and try and catch La Cruz as maybe at, when he's moving away, because when he's moving away, his hands are just so low. Look how low his hands are. He hits and he moves backwards. Hands very low, difficult to actually catch. Josh Boatzi, who came away with Olympic bronze in Rio last summer, actually fought La Cruz in the first preliminary round as he lands another good right hand. But he fought Josh Boatsy, did La Cruz in the first preliminary round, and Boatsy put him on the canvas, remember? But he said, as La Cruz lands with another right hand, he said La Cruz moves just enough at the last moment. So you think you've got him, but then all of a sudden you're hitting nothing but fresh air. And he says he does that consistently, and his counters are accurate and hurtful as well. Yeah, that's why he's, you know, he's an Olympic champion and three-time world champion, La Cruz. He's, his judgments of distance is exceptional he'll make you miss by inches and then he comes back and he scores and he's got deceptively long arms and when he's throwing those shots from the waist and, and from his knees sometimes then just then, then you know they're very hard to detect he sets the traps of having those low hands and you think you can catch him but as you move towards him like that you get caught clever boxer very very frustrating to box against Remaining committed to his task, though, is Joe Ward back on that front foot. He, too, now with his hands down. But bearing his gum shield is Julio Cesar La Cruz because that was another very good round of boxing for him, electing to stand in between rounds, as he does customarily. President of Aiba, Dr. C.K. Wu on the screen left. 1996 Olympic champion, Dr. Steel Hammer, Vladimir Klitschko on the right. And what a reign he had in the professional ranks as the unified heavyweight king. So a better round for Le Cruz. Gets caught. That's that shot we spoke about earlier that Ward landed. That was a good punch from Ward. He's trying to lay back himself, but Le Cruz, long arms. Just catches Ward there. 
started to settle more into his rhythm in that round, did La Cruz. So the third and final round of this 81 kilogram light heavyweight gold medal bout is between boxers who know one another very well indeed. A rematch of the 2015 World Championship final from Doha. And the man wearing red who is pecking and poking with that right hand and then making his man miss by millimeters is the reigning three time world champion, Julio Cesar La Cruz. Ward knew that he was just bamboozled by superior defensive maneuvers there. Then La Cruz comes back with a wonderful left jab. La Cruz, the king of every domain that's open to him. Olympic champion, world champion, Pan Am Games champion and America's champion. Joe Ward, just 23 years of age, claimed his third European title this summer. He takes a hard right left to the body. He comes back with a southpaw left of his own. But he's trying to go one better than the world championship silver he came away with two years ago. And in 2013, La Cruz beat him at the semi-final stage, meaning Ward came away with bronze. But that gives you an idea of Ward's ability at just 23 years old, ranked number three in the world, the tournament number three seed, that really it's this man who consistently gets the better of him, but then La Cruz generally gets the better of, better of everybody he faces in the light heavyweight ranks. He's boxing well here. Ward continuing to pursue his man, looking for openings on the inside. Neither man working away. Referee is allowing them to do so as we pass the midpoint of the third and final stanza. Occasionally when Ward throws that one-two, he actually brings his left leg right the way around because the Cruz is, is so far back with that layback, and so he actually just, he, he literally changes stances running forward now. It's the, it's the right tactic, he's got to try and close the gap down. He's got to use, try and use his jab just a little bit more as, as Ward, but he's, he's up in the tempo, it's the right thing to do, but he's got to do it more behind double jabs, double attacks and sustain the pressure, but it's easier said than done. And Ward, well, he's a versatile boxer, he can box going backwards, that's his perhaps favoured default position. He's been over the front foot, lands a good right hand, but causes La Cruz to become disorganised. And then he's spoken to about the ref, by the referee about turning his back on his opponent. Good pecking right hand from La Cruz. Trying the same shot again, didn't land, but again made Ward miss before coming back with a wonderful one-two. Ward trying to walk down his man, but just cannot get him to stay still long enough to land any leather. Being made to miss repeatedly. And it's been another masterful display by Julio Cesar La Cruz, who is no doubt on the cusp of emulating Juan Hernandez, his compatriot who took four world championship goals in the welterweight division and La Cruz sporting touch of gloves to end the contest but he is confident that he has just claimed his fourth successive world championship gold appreciative applause here from the capacity crowd in attendance at the Sport Haller in Hamburg because they have just witnessed another masterful display from the world undisputed number one in the 81 kilogram light heavyweight division Julio Cesar La Cruz Joe Ward gave it everything he had, but once again, he found it difficult to pin this man down. Yeah, his tactics were, were, were correct in that he's going forward, he's trying to close the gut down. He just walked on to, to probably too many shots, did Joe Ward. But, you know, it's, it's a hell of an achievement to win a, a world silver at his age. He's still only a baby, Joe Ward, and he's taken the very best in, in the likes of La Cruz that's beaten him, if he gets it, but I'm, I'm sure he will. Cesar La Cruz performs his familiar celebratory salute because he has just claimed his fourth successive World Championship gold medal. Sportingly applauding the acknowledgement that he is receiving a high five with Joe Ward before Ward exits the ring. But this moment belongs to this man. Julio Cesar La Cruz joins his compatriot Juan Hernandez Sierra. Kisses the canvas in celebration after claiming his fourth successive World Championship title. Baku 2011, Kazakhstan 2013. 
Doha, Qatar in 2015, and here in Hamburg 2017. Julio Cesar La Cruz continues to add to his considerable legend by claiming his fourth successive World Championship gold. Wonderful celebrations with his compatriots, a sizable number of them here in attendance at Hamburg, and he remains the king of every territory that he's able to contest. Yeah, and um, he does it with, with ease, doesn't he, really? He makes it look easy, should I say, and, you know, I mean, his style of boxing, he's a 29-year-old Cuban, you know, he's well-seasoned. Most of our amateurs have, have, have turned pro, and some are even finished at the age of 29, but this fella, Olympic champion, four times now world champion. There's probably not many boxers in, in professional boxing that would actually beat him over three rounds because he's mastered the style um, and the technique of, of this three-round sport. And like I say, you, know, you name me a professional out there that would beat him over three, I'll tell you what, they'd probably struggle, you know, because he's that good. He really is. Is. It would probably take an Andre Ward or someone to, to match him. But, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a class act, he really is.